Facebook it was a great Charlotte event and I think uh, it brought together people who are passionate about sport but also those of us who are really interested in how sport and stadiums can help make better places in Sydney and bring new investments. So it was a really good coming together of uh, a, you know the collaboration that you need to see actually to make um, the, the, to, bring, to bring the best out of the opportunity that's coming from the government's pretty big spending program. I thought what was really interesting, there was so much common ground um, between people appreciating that actually it was about placemaking. It was about putting, it's not just about the shiny new sculptural stadium, it's about putting it in the wider context and making sure that it makes a contribution to the wider community and the city at large. And you know, different speakers came at it from different perspectives, but that message came through very clearly. Without a doubt, the, the key challenge is, is governance. Uh, the Minister spoke about those six key assets and the intention to provide a collective governance model to take those forward, and that's absolutely critical. Got to get that right. It's great to listen to the opportunities, but also the challenges. Sydney is a unique city in terms of its geography. Transportation is difficult. I'm pleased to see the government recognising that there needs to be a network of stadiums because people are fatigued by the weekend in Sydney about the amount of travel that they've had to do. It was interesting to listen to the importance of having an active precinct around a stadium. And this is an area where commercial activity uh, is going to become increasingly important. It's also interesting tonight to listen to uh, debates around having to get major events uh, and the battle to get major events is something that football in particular has been part of over the last couple of years. We've brought big European clubs to Australia and we've had intense competition uh, for which city will host those events uh, because of the interstate and international travel that it brings. Uh, there was a lot about tonight that I really enjoyed and uh, I'm looking forward to seeing how it unfolds. We, we discover from the history of uh, Homebush that uh, you know part of what went wrong there or was not completed there was the transport revolution. So whatever we do, we must make sure that all the new stadiums that we have or the existing stadiums that we're improving have best-in-class public transport connectivity. It's pretty critical. It reflects the reality of Sydney that we've got an inner core, we've got a, a middle ring with Homebush and we've got Western Sydney. So I think there's a lot of buy-in that it reflects the reality of Sydney. I think the issue now is to do this well and that requires not just that we build great stadiums, but that we build great places, and that's a bigger challenge.